Life is but a dream. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Life is but a dream. Wow, I'm so excited to come back here with the fourth episode. So far we've laid the foundations. We've looked at what different sources um there are available to us in terms of interpreting dreams and where our dreams come from. So in terms of sources, the best place to start is always to start in prayer with the Lord. Take your dream to the Lord and then he will guide you. He may lead you to an interpretation source online. He may take you to the Bible. Very often that's where I start. It's like he just puts a, a verse in my mind and I know okay have a look at that scripture and sometimes I'll take my own initiative and have a look at scripture and I find that it's not really what he's where he's leading me so it's always so important to go to him first go to the lord first and he will guide you in terms of what sources to use because relationship is key this is like the core theme of all things related to the lord whether you are learning about dream interpretation or prophesying or whatever spiritual gift it may be just know that relationship with the lord is the most important thing we also looked at where dreams come from the different sources of dreams and that was in the last episode so if you didn't see that or you missed it by mistake because i know you missed it by mistake obviously obviously because you can't wait for these episodes every week <laughs> Um you can go back into my uh timeline and have a look there you will find the video. Um I will also try and link the playlist at the end of this video so that you you can just click on it and the whole playlist of life is but a dream will come up for you. Okay, so now I'm going to focus on the symbols that you get in dreams. So in the weeks that are coming we're going to look at various um symbols in terms of their categories so we'll look at people in dreams what does it mean when we dream of people and we'll look at what does it mean when we dream of um bathrooms or mirrors or animals or whatever it may be water we're going to look at all these different dream symbols and elements and um we're going to go deep into them well at least i'm going to share as much information as i have on the various symbols and elements in dreams some episodes may have two parts to them um for example like the category of people dreaming about people that has a lot of stuff there's a lot to that it can mean so many things so i'd probably do two separate episodes for that so that we, you're not here for like a long time like a 30 minute episode um and so that I can really get in depth with you and share as much knowledge as I have. So what I'm going to do here today in this fourth episode is lay a foundation for symbols. Um how to actually interpret your dreams. How do we interpret the symbols in our dreams, the various elements, how do we interpret the dream as a whole? That is when what we're going to look at today. And obviously the key thing is relationship and the other key thing and we've covered this before is that each symbol, most symbols majority of symbols can have a positive meaning and they can also have a negative meaning it all depends on what's happening in the dream what is the context what is your relationship with that particular thing but we're going to go into it so let me not get ahead of myself because i feel like i am i have my notes here so um i'm going to follow the notes the first thing to note is that dreams are symbolic most of the time um that is such a key thing so very often we'll dream of someone we'll have someone in our dreams and then we'll go to that person and say oh i dreamt about you but god was actually trying to show you something about you about your life and this is something that i learned when i used to watch john paul jackson's videos is that most of your dreams are about you it is a small percentage of dreams that you dream that are about other people where god wants to wants you to give a message to someone else so that's a very 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 important thing to remember um even though there are other people in your dream and they seem to be like you know like um really important in your in your dream it's so key for you to ask the lord why this particular person because god could be pointing you to the meaning of their name and that will kind of help explain the rest of the dream if i'm making sense so it's so important to understand that dreams are highly symbolic but Um it's all about understanding your dream language between you and God. I have my unique language between me and God in terms of dreams and I really believe that this is um like a fingerprint. It really is. 
the Lord uses certain symbols um, because he knows the relationship that I have with them and he'll know and he knows how I will understand the dream based on those symbols and he does the same with all of us so you need to understand that you have a unique dream language between you and the Lord that is so key because I can come here and I can share all of this information and the way I'm going to share it is to um, provoke some questions in you so that you're not just writing it down and saying it's definitely this but instead um, your mind is opening up in terms of understanding the symbols like okay so this is kind of how to think about symbols as opposed to this symbol means this and that's it full stop it cannot mean anything else so it's always about that unique relationship that you have between you and God so while I'm on that breath that same breath tangent <laughs> um, some people have highly symbolic dreams like seriously symbolic and and, that, and that's this just the general language that they have it's not not every single dream that is highly symbolic but that's the general nature of their dreams some people have highly literal dreams and that's the general nature of the dreams that they have that the Lord gives them and then some of us we fall somewhere in between there some of us are closer to the highly symbolic and some are closer to the highly literal some are right in the middle for me personally I'm more on this side like a lot of my dreams are quite symbolic and most of the time I have to think about the symbols but I also have to be very careful because I've fallen into the trap of taking everything so symbolically and sometimes God is saying no that really is that or that person really is that person in the dream so that's why relationship is so important because the only way you'll know what God is trying to point uh, to in each dream is if you have a good um, relationship with him, you know how he speaks to you, you know how to hear his voice. So that is a foundational thing. And you also begin to understand your dream language between you and God. Um, it's taken me many years to get to a point where I'm comfortable and secure in um, hearing God and receiving interpretation from him. So I really encourage you to be patient with yourself and to just allow the Lord to minister to you. I really encourage you to go through um, healing if you need to go through healing because a lot of the time what blocks us from having relationship with God is the, the wounds, the scars, the pain that we carry, the shame that we carry and the guilt um, that separates us from the Lord and it makes, us, it makes it hard for us to view God the way he truly is, just loving, full of grace. There is a cricket in my room. <laughs> I don't know if this mic will pick it up, but I pray it doesn't. I saw it earlier and I was like, mm -mm, my friend, no. Anyway, back to the symbols. I have an aunt who, when she dreams, her dreams are highly literal. Like, yes, they are symbolic. there's a symbolic nature to the dream. But um, if she's dreaming about someone... <laughs> chances are it is about that person the lord has shown her so many things about what's happening in her household based on the dreams that she's had i'll give you a very nice dream that she had she had a situation at work where um she had just joined this particular company and then soon after she was pregnant and i don't know how it works in other countries but here in south africa in order to join a medical aid you have to make sure that you're not pregnant at the time because what they do is that they exclude you from they don't cover that particular condition we'll call it a condition for now so you have to have been on the medical aid for at least a certain number of months maybe three months I think it is before they can cover you for certain conditions so she had just joined just found out she was pregnant medical aid said nope I think it's also called medical insurance in other places just so we on the same page they were like no we're not covering this it's a generally known thing and she had a dream the one night as this thing was playing in her mind she had a dream and this in this particular dream she saw a document that had um like what do you call it this document was like a policy document and on it it said section whatever of this section you know it had the title and everything she woke up the next morning and she went online and she googled the exact thing that she saw in her dream section blah 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 and it came up and it was a tiny little clause that most people don't know about therefore they fall for the tricks of the medical aid 
<laughs> that um, exclude them from certain conditions. And this particular little piece that was just hidden in the fine print allowed her to be covered for that for her pregnancy. So medical aid had to cover because she brought that to their attention. So she gets those kind of dreams. And that's just one example. Whereas for me, it would probably be something completely different where, you know, God would have, have me digging up more. So some of us have to work a little bit harder to get our interpretations. And some people, it's just a little bit more literal. It's just how God has chosen to make it. There's benefits for both sides. For me, it's really helped me to think broader, to really broaden my mind and understand symbols in a better way. So when we have a dream and we bring it before the Lord, because that is the first step, bring your dream before the Lord. Um, just sit there and just start to listen to, you know, what God is dropping in your spirit. You can actually sit there and start to ask the Lord questions like, okay, what does the symbol actually mean to me? What's my experience with it? How does it relate with other elements in the dream. Is it, does it have a positive feel in this dream or a negative feel? How did I feel when I was in this dream? And then that's when you begin to have those questions answered because as you ask them, the Lord starts to drop the answers. He may say, why don't you go ahead and Google it? Have a look at this particular Christian dream interpretation manual um, or go to this particular scripture and have a look at that. Um, yeah, so it's just about sitting there and just asking the Lord certain questions. And sometimes he'll ask you the questions. He'll say, well, think about it. How do you feel about this particular person? What's your relationship with them? How does this symbol make you feel? Um, what has your experience been with this particular element or symbol? And then you begin to have like this dialogue and then um, things just start to make sense. Um, I really encourage you to look for patterns. It's so crazy how I've picked up on patterns um, because I was looking for them and sometimes you miss them because you're not looking for them so um, you may have a first scene and there's a um, ginger cat in that scene and then in the next scene there's another ginger cat or another cat um, may not be ginger and that's that's a pattern you know you may have a circle in the first scene and then there's a circle in the next one that's a pattern why would God use that and not a square or not a triangle so it's always so important to have look out for patterns because then that helps you to tie things together and also um, to kind of take the elements out completely right and basically just paint the scenario for what it is um, what's a good example that I can give you guys I should have written something but let me think if I'm like running at super speed in a dream and then all of a sudden I stop and I pick up this handbag and there's money in it, this is just me really making up a random scenario. Um, this is how you would take out the elements. Think of it this way. You will say to yourself, um, I was doing something at an accelerated rate and I found something of great value. That begins to um, create some kind of for me it started to bring like the the the, the meaning of the dream to life so there's going to be something there's going to be accelerated movement that I need to um, obviously participate in but I'm going to get to a point where I have to end this accelerated movement because I'm going to be presented with something of great value do you see um, how taking out the symbols can sometimes just bring the meaning to, to you and then you begin to understand it. Um, I hope that made sense guys. That really works very well for me. So if we're looking at a symbol on its own right, let's just take a laptop for example and we look at that and we say how, how can we describe a laptop because I think that's the key thing. It's being able to describe something. What's its function? And um, let's say we say a laptop is something that has multiple functions because it does multiple things and really the purpose is to make life easier for you or to entertain you in some way um, so maybe God is talking to you about something in your life that has uh, that is multifunctional and is designed to make life easier for you to bring you joy to entertain you maybe to um, help you complete certain tasks to help you complete a project it depends what was happening with that laptop in the dream and that's when you begin to like um, 
hone things down like okay the the purpose of the laptop in the dream was so that I could finish something that I that I had started then you know God is showing you that he's going to help you finish something that you that you started and he's going to give you the means to do it with something that's going to help you because that's what a laptop does it helps us to complete certain tasks it helps us to do certain things it is multifunctional it has multiple functions um sometimes you could be watching youtube on your laptop in the dream um and it could be God showing you that um you need to pay attention to a message that he's giving you um through a a different type of means so it's so important you just look at to, to describe it to yourself describe that element to yourself a camera okay what do cameras do they capture memories so then you start to think around that okay so this is talking about something that happened in the past that I need to look into or something that um, I need to pay attention to because it's like the camera captures it so it draws your attention to it um, that's just me really throwing stuff out um, <laughs> <laughs> impromptu you but it's just it, I'm helping you guys to start to think about symbols in that way what does a light do if a light comes on in the dream it's like oh maybe God is going to light up my path or he's going to reveal something to me because when you turn on the light it is no longer dark and you can actually see what's happening so maybe you're gonna get a revelation or the Lord will expose something or reveal something to you so it's all about how does this thing function how do I relate to it how do I feel about it whether it's a person or an object it's just thinking and asking God questions and that will help you to understand. Sometimes you'll find that you don't always understand everything in the dream. You, you may find that um, there are certain key symbols and God will guide you. He'll show you which ones are the key symbols and there's no need to fixate on every single little element and symbol and thing that is happening. It's so important to have that relationship because God will show you what is important. It will kind of like jump up at you um, because what, what we can do, which is also not helpful in terms of interpreting dreams is we can be so focused on every single little thing that it's like we're zooming into that picture we are like zooming straight into it and you know what it what what it's like when you zoom into a picture you lose the whole picture because now you're just looking at this little pixelated piece of the of the whole thing so now the whole perspective of the picture is gone so sometimes you need to zone out and just look at everything together and say oh I see what's happening it's like looking at a picture it's like having a look at a work of art at an art gallery and I mean you're not going to go in and zone in on that little green dot you're going to look at the whole picture and take it in and you're going to see what it's all about or what's happening so you got to be careful not to fixate on every single little thing but focus on the major things when you look at a picture our eyes are drawn to certain things our eyes cannot um, or our brains cannot process the whole, every single thing at once and that's how it is when we're interpreting dreams as well so don't fixate on every single little thing and of course, check how you're feeling. How do I feel in the dream? Uh, what's the general feeling? Is this a happy dream? Am I joyful? Am I worried? Am I um, convicted? Am I afraid? Am I anxious? Um, am I just okay? Like there, there's no real, um, there's no feeling that I can pinpoint because that happens often. Um, yeah, just have a look at that and, and decide, you know, how do I feel about this person in the dream? Um, because people, like I said, oh, there's so many things that people can mean in your dreams. So yeah, guys, that's the foundational stuff that I wanted to share with you today in terms of symbols. So now it's time for the key point. <laughs> The first key point is that you have a unique dream language between you and the Lord. It's between you and him and um, you have to figure out what that is and you can only figure that out by spending time with him. Relationship is key. The second key point is that dreams are symbolic. So you have to to have a look at what does these what do these elements in the dreams symbolize and sometimes people have more literal dreams so there's also that to consider but generally dreams are symbolic because the lord wants relationship with you so he wants you to seek him um, and I really believe that's one of the main reasons that the Lord makes our dreams so symbolic is so that we can search him so that we can spend time with him so that we can grow in relationship with him and learn his true character and um, once we know his true character we begin to 
view him the way we should and not the way that religion has taught us, um, which is a major, major barrier, major barrier for so many um, Christians, for so many of, of God's children is just how they view God because of how religion has taught. But anyway, that's a video for another day. Let's move on to the next point. The third key point is not to fixate on every single little thing in the dream, but rather to look at the dream as a whole. Look at it like you would a beautiful work of art. And friends, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.